it's awkward outside. It's weird. It's intense. Nobody really wants to be here. Dad doesn't want to be here. Robin doesn't want to be here. Mom doesn't want to be here. Her kids are on one side and Robin and Cody are on the other and none of us want to be here. Bye, Christine. Good luck. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Why did you, you and Dad break up? We just weren't in love anymore. You know, that happens sometimes. But we'll still hang out sometimes. We just weren't in love. Oh, well, it doesn't <laughs> always fix everything, my love, but thank you. What a good idea. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, February 26th, 2024. Well, the love affair that fans have had with Christine Brown since she decided to leave Cody has been going on for years, years and years and years. Christine and her stands and all of the love she received, you couldn't, no one could see a single, single reason to be mad at her. She was like the untouchable sister wife because she dis single-handedly dismantled the family and thank you, Christine. And at the same time, there was backlash anytime anyone would call out something that she had done, maybe that people didn't agree with, uh, or maybe she was doing something, maybe her own be maybe her own behavior was, you know, even though she was leaving Cody, it wasn't the best. But today it seems like that love affair with Christine has become lackluster and fans are starting to turn on her. And they're turning on her for a few reasons, but the primary reason is the way that she is cashing in on her fame and also using her multi-level marketing to push health claims that are not true, to get people to buy products that aren't regulated and won't even treat the conditions she claims they will. But it's not even that that has people upset. It's her new Airbnb because she has made the decision to buy a house in Moab, Utah. It's a townhome. It's in a resort area where there are national parks. It's near the Arches National Park. And Christine is plastering photographs of her ex-husband all over this Airbnb. A Airbnb that is supposed to be her and David's vacation home a vacation home that is going to include photographs all over the place of Cody. So the fallout with Christine and her fans, it started late at the end of the season. And as the show has wrapped up, it's just been this ongoing, I'd say like buildup of people becoming more and more frustrated with her Instagram. Her Instagram she's using to promote Plexus, which is a multi-level marketing probiotic basically. And she's promoting all kinds of health claims that are just unsubstantiated and it's making people frustrated. That part was annoying people. The second part was that she seemed to be spending a lot of time with David, taking aim at Cody, using her platform to kind of mock him, using David and her to like make fun of things that he has said about her on the show or make fun of things that he has said on the show. People were getting tired of that. They felt like, Christine, you are married, move on. So there was that. Then with this new venture, people were like, oh great, Christine is gonna go do something for herself. She's going to take care of herself. She and David are gonna have a place for their family. But she shared on her Instagram this post which says, we are displaying Sister Wives magazines and newspaper articles in our Moab Airbnb. It's been such an amazing journey. You gotta come see them. This is the website, not a link. Link is in bio. And it, it's a video of her putting together like a plaque of newspaper and People Magazine clippings and Cody's face is all over it. And it's a sort of homage to her time on Sister Wives. And the Airbnb is being marketed as a Sister Wives retreat. But the problem is, is there's no Sister Wives. On top of that, she's already married to a new man. So why would you be putting 
photographs up of your ex-husband all over your new Airbnb. Now from a money making venture, maybe she feels like this is what fans are gonna wanna see, but the comments were so overwhelmingly negative where people were saying, this is weird. Why are you doing this? I don't understand. Why are you putting Cody in your new vacation rental? You need to move on. And there is an element here of like, she did move on very, very fast, very fast. And then she's also on a show with him. I don't know. But again, Cody at the new vacation rental kind of proves to Cody that maybe she's not over him. And then when you go to her Airbnb retreat, this is what it says. Enjoy Moab's three bedroom villa, no chores. Sleep eight, three bedroom, four beds, two and a half baths. Fans of TLC's hit show, Sister Wives Unite. Owned by Sister Wives star, Christine Brown Woolley and her husband, David. You can enjoy this beautiful and perfect hometown in Moab, Utah. Peruse the collection of news articles, magazine articles, and family photos. This villa boasts beautiful rim view and starry skies complete with a two gar garage, seasonal community pool and hot tub and high speed Wi-Fi. You can go to this place that's in this beautiful spot in Moab, Utah to look at magazines that you could just look at online and family photos that you could just look at online of her and the family. And it's just strange that she would assume that fans are going to automatically go there simply because she's been on a show for Sister Wives. So it says the kitchen is this well-appointed kitchen offers everything you need to create tantalizing delights from the simplest meals of the gourmet to the gourmet. It includes a full set of temptations from Christine's personal kitchen, dishes, pots and pans, glassware, silverware, extensive cooking utensils, Hamilton Beach flex brew, try coffee machine, blah, blah, blah. It tells you like all the different things that it has in there. Um, then there's a TV, the master bedroom. The way that it's being marketed, it's like she wants you to consider the fact that this is like a home that she's actually ever lived at and she's never lived there. So you're going to a home that's owned by her, but it's never a home that she's lived in and it's never a home that she will live in. So you're really just going to a vacation rental that she bought and it's weird because her co-host of this Airbnb is David's cousin. So David's cousin is a business partner on this vacation rental along with Christine and David. So you're not only like helping Christine and David, but you're also helping David's cousin, which whatever, yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Um, but that has obviously garnered a little bit of backlash because people are like, I don't understand why you're doing this. And then on top of that, she's charging $309 per night. Now that's for in March. If you're wondering if it's been booking, the answer would be not really. Um, they have basically a couple weeks at this point booked. She's got all of May open. She's got all of June, all of July, all of August, all of September. She's really at this point only booked a few nights. And if you wanted to book, say if you wanted to book in May, on May 17th, you have to do a two night minimum and it's $376 per month per night in May. In June, it's $273 per night. In July, it's $218 per night. So the pricing depends on the season. Right now, it's $309 per night. So if you book in March, it's $309 per, per night. I don't know what the average Airbnb goes for in that area. But I mean, it's, it's, it's pricey, but it looks like some fans were a little bit frustrated at the amount she was charging and they, it looks like she knocked down the price for the Airbnb. So she's got fans frustrated with her because, okay, why are you plastering your ex-husband all over this, this? Why is, why would we go to your vacation rental that you've never lived in just because it's owned by you? Like that's sort of strange. And then last week she play, she put up a post about menopause, which kind of got people really upset. And so she has two recent posts where she's completely turned comments off. This one said, navigating menopause felt like a battle against relentless discomfort, hot flashes during the day, sleepless nights, drenched in sweat and mood swings. 
That left me feeling unrecognizable. I was desperate for a solution that could restore my sense, could restore my sense of normalcy and well-being. If you're seeking relief from menopause, menopause's grip, let's explore solutions together. For more information, visit healthyliving.com, which is Plexus. I actually said, info please. And I, I was sent an automated DM by her and nothing that was in the automated DM had anything to do with at all, at all to do with menopause. It was like weight loss stuff for plexus, fat burning for plexus and probiotics for plexus, but it had literally nothing to do to ease the symptoms of hot flashes or sleepless nights or mood swings. She didn't offer anything in there. So fans were frustrated because it's like, you're telling us that you have something for menopause, but nothing you're offering is actually for menopause. Not to mention, Plexus is not FDA approved to treat menopause. So before she had turned comments off, everyone was like telling her that it's really irresponsible for her to promote Plexus as a cure for menopause because every woman goes through it and, and other people pointed out that it's perimenopause, which is the years before you have your last period that actually cause a lot of these symptoms and hormone replacement is actually what is the most beneficial to women. That's what I saw in the comments. I'm not going to tell you what to do for your symptoms because I'm not a doctor and I'm not Christine Brown. So if you're experiencing these symptoms, talk to your doctor, doctor on what you can do to treat your symptoms. Do not use an influencer from Sister Wives to tell you how to treat your menopause. She's had two recent posts be back to back turned off. And then she posted another thing today, which was more about her plexus stuff. And the comments were just like, people were so frustrated, like telling her like, I'm unfollowing you because all this is, is advertisements. Your, you, your Instagram has become one big advertisement. You've lost all personality. You've lost all personal touch. It's all about self-promotion. And listen, she has, she can do whatever she wants with her Instagram. I truly have issue with her promoting Plexus for menopause. That does bother me when it comes to the stuff with the vacation rental. I don't know. Like, you decide on your own. I'm not super bothered by it. Do I think it's kind of weird? Yes. Do I think Christine is fully over Cody? Absolutely not. I don't think anyone that is over a ex-husband would put photographs of the ex-husband in a vacation rental that you own with your new husband. My concern for Christine is that she is bringing a new relationship into one when she hasn't even recovered from an old one. And this is placing... David in the middle of her decompressing, deconstructing and getting over Cody. And it's just muddying the waters where I don't know about you, but if I was dating someone, I wouldn't want to be in the middle of their breakup. I wouldn't want to be in the middle of their vendetta against their ex, but I also wouldn't want to be on a show with the ex-husband, which is what Christine promises is going to be all about season 19. I also understand though that she's trying to be a businesswoman and she wants to make money. I can also be extremely empathetic to the fact that she didn't get her rightful pay for years while she was on the show with Cody. So she wants to cash in as much as possible and her window is going to close. And based on the fact of the way that it's being marketed and the lack of bookings, I would say right now it's not really the best launch for the Airbnb. And it doesn't seem like there's a super high demand right now for Sister Wives fans to go to Moab, given the fact that she has so many available dates and so few bookings. This is actually what happened to Mary when she tried to run a retreat. Nobody wanted to pay the price for it because it was just really over the top. And it could be them not understanding the limitations of their fame, maybe not understanding what people do want to buy from them and what people do want to interact with them because staying a night at her vacation rental doesn't mean you get to stay the night with Christine. You just get to stay with stuff that Christine owns. You know what I mean? Like you're not staying with Christine. She's not going to be there. She's not going to be hanging out with you. She's not going to be high-fiving with you, making cookies with you in the bed or making her rolls. If you go to Mary's Inn, you might actually see Mary. In this case, you're not going to see Christine. So whether justified or not, 
whether upset or not, whether validated or not, Christine has a seemingly started to tip the scales outside of her favor and she's pushing her fans limits. She could correct this very easily by posting sometimes a little bit more personal content without constantly exploiting the need for her fans to pay her money or buy things from her and just interact with them in a positive way. She could also just use it for a vehicle for money. And then if she does, she'll turn off fans that just think that she's viewing them as a cash grab. She will make her money and she'll do it the way she wants to do it. And you guys can decide how you feel about it. Like I said, I'm neutral about a lot of it. I think do your vacation rental, kind of weird about Cody. I don't like the stuff about plexus and menopause. I don't like false, false health claims. Have fun on your Instagram. Maybe get back in touch with your fans and stop looking at them as a cash grab. That's just my two cents because I think Christine does have an opportunity here with her fans for redemption. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.